A test doesn't care if you finish. A test just cares if you get the question right. So it's not about getting through it. We want them to focus and give us 20 minutes of clear thinking rather than two hours of baloney and gain the poise to succeed on tests. Because most students or many students know the basics they need to know to succeed on these tests. They just don't always know that they know this. We want it to be a conversation in our classes and we don't want kids stepping on other kids so that the more dominant kids shut out the shyer kids. In order to uh, codify and supplement our work, I started writing books uh, to complement everything from our fourth grade to our college entrance exam work. Uh, these books I named Remain Clam. It's a bad joke that's since become my mantra. Uh, the idea is that if you don't remain calm, everything kind of goes haywire. And that's a big part of the test taking process and learning how to manage your mind. Uh, we try to get them to embrace their ignorance so that we can get rid of it. And that's how our classes work. There's also a lot of humor. There's a lot of games we play, mental games, to try to keep them engaged. But mostly we want them committed to the work and then we want them to be here. It's a voluntary situation, it's not a school. The dirty secret of most standardized tests is they're all the same. They build on top of the same foundations. So we get students here in fourth grade, and by the time they come to us in high school, they got the game. They need very little help, because they understand what it's all about. And I think that makes this whole experience of tests, whether you think they're good things or bad things or evil incarnate, it makes it a positive experience because we teach them how to use their minds.